Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths Weird and Wonderful where we've got kind of a weird and certainly wonderful entry for you today because I went trawling on things other than the front page of the Steam Workshop. So, there's a bunch of awesome things on the Steam Workshop as per usual and I was going through them and they're either from uh, people whose work I've looked at before like, please don't take that personally, I'd like... There are certain people who, they'd be on here all the time, uh, if I wasn't discerning. And things like, that required mods, and I'm not a fan of installing mods just to show off craft, and so on and so on. And then my eye caught, was caught by this. This thing is terrible and wonderful at the same time. This is the battleship uh, Vilcon by uh, Zefuja. And read out the workshop description in its entirety. It currently has two subscribers. Uh, one of them is probably me. Uh, a battleship with lots of guns are designed to combat enemies from all sides. All guns have restrictions movement to allow multi-layer killing. Uh, Multi-target killing, sorry. So, uh, this thing has not been combat tested. At least it has not been combat tested uh, off... Uh, it has not been combat tested with regular detection settings because it doesn't have any detection. That's the first major thing about it. So if we go here and if we just quickly drop something like this and oh, I don't know, let's just stick a camera here. And uh, if we hit Q on the camera, you'll see that the camera I just placed is uh, pretty much the only detection that this thing has. It has literally nothing else, so... I'm guessing Zafuja just likes to play on automatic detection or something like that. Fair enough. And this thing is not abs is like has no active defense. It is basically I feel it's someone who either doesn't care and just likes to play the game their way uh, or someone who's kind of new to the game. Either way, I actually like this thing. It makes me happy. And of course, you can immediately guess one of the reasons why. This is basically three canoes. Uh, stapled together. I don't do multi holocraft very often, but I probably should because I don't know, I just like them. And um, there's a lot of things wrong with it, and that's kind of why it's kind of wonderful. Because one of the great things about From the Depths, it's 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 such a steep learning curve that it is actually kind of fun to look back over your mistakes and the things you did wrong, uh, or just the things you know you fully acknowledge that you did them wrong at the time and just you think back on it and think like yeah so this reminds me as a lot of things do of a lot of things that um i did was rather not well back in the day so yeah so one of which is that you'll notice that um this thing was uploaded quite recently actually like as the the day i'm recording this uh, it was uploaded to the steam watch about 10 days ago so uh, we've all gotten used to things like, oh, I don't know, wedges and stuff like that. So, um, there's no reason why you can't uh, smooth out the hydrodynamics of this thing just by sticking wedges on the front like this. Uh, but, uh, Sifuja has elected not to do that. I actually li love the way this is staggered, by the way. I've, this is actually quite an old, uh, method of staggering, like, um... Uh, people tend to do something like this now, and you could do something like this, or not really, hold on. Something like this, something like this, something like this, and you get a very nice gentle slope with a bit of drag. But again, that's not what Zafu just done here. This could be an aesthetic choice. And just, it's weird, like, you just do things the way you like them, and you end up with stuff that looks kind of unique. I have not really seen anything on the workshop that looks quite like this. It's got the red paint underneath. It's got alloy on the bottom, which is a huge no-no, by the way. Do not do that. Um, but the thing is so broad that, like, uh, I don't see this thing capsizing anytime soon. This basically is just canoe hulls uh, put underneath to act as a kind of a floaty platform for uh, all the heavier bits above it. So... Yeah, I realize I'm kind of criticizing and critiquing this thing, which isn't what I usually do in Weird and Wonderful, but screw it, we're here. We've got these little slopey here, things here for absolutely no other reason than it is cool to do so. We've got all these, and APS shell selections has, let's see, let's see, what's this? This is pure frag, 
Uh, fragment cone angle is 20 degrees. Not optimal, apparently, but what were you expecting, really? Uh, what does this guy have? Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so it's like, yeah, this is this is style points. Almost, you could almost consider this thing an aesthetic build, and required accuracy for fire on the guns is not set. Access intakes. Uh, let's see here. This is just HE head, pure and simple. I think that. Let's see here. How about this one? How about this one? Also HE. Uh, because this thing is functionally blind, uh, when you spawn it in, you're not going to get good results. You can see how the guns are kind of... they can't really aim, uh, because, well, they can't really. Although they are getting kind of close anyway. It is fun how there's just enough auto-detection uh, to make it so that you... well, look at that. The thing can land a hit. And once you uh, are take pity on the design and do something like this, it actually does okay. No active defenses to speak of whatsoever, so it's not going to do super well. It just spits out a whole bunch of just APS shells. And if we hum along at about, mm, about 20 meters per second, I do like how the propellers are set up. <laughs> just spamming small propellers, which is redundancy of nothing else. Uh, did the Marauder shoot at us, or was that self-inflicted? I don't know. But... Uh, showing you the insides of this thing. It's mostly blocks. So, you can see here, there's, here's the AI, which, by the way, is sitting straight on alloy. Okay, that's enough of that. That's loud. Uh, so we got here a whole bunch of customizers, because, well, apparently customizers are still in. A whole crap ton of uh, repair tentacles and a lot of repair bots. So this is what makes me think that... Uh, this is made by someone reasonably new to the game. Repair bot spam is usually a sign of someone who's new, in which case, welcome! Uh, one day you will learn that this is uh, not the best idea because uh, the best defenses is active defenses because they're actually cheaper, if harder to make. And so we've got a whole bunch of ammo boxes back here. Uh, yep, possibly a bit more than required. Repair tentacles, storage, and the rest is basically just big compartments. Which isn't that bad, honestly. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, not much. Uh, this thing is actually kind of hard to AI. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize this. The ammo storage. Oh, this has taken me back to so many... Looking at so many people's ships where the ammo is just in the funkiest places possible. Oh boy. And here's just one canoe. And here's just one canoe. How thick is the armor on the side? It is... One meter thick. No armor stacking at all. No armor stacking at all. Ah, oh, man. So this is like, this is kind of what I do love uh, looking at things like this every so often on Weird and Wonderful because like you do have to remember where most people come from. Like most people who play from the depths are not, uh, I don't want to say that they're not good at it. It's just that like, you know, the amount, the number of people you could effectively say are good at From the Depths, I think is very, very small. Like, genuinely good. As in, you give them an hour and they'll make something that is godly tier difficulty, or they can make stuff that looks almost photorealistic in terms of aesthetics, and the rest of us are just kind of, we're plodding along and having fun. And you gotta, you gotta love the, plod the plodding along and having fun. It's just good. So let's, uh, this thing is 500k, so, uh, since this, uh, since uh, Zafuja says this thing is designed to be surrounded, so let's surround it with marauders. Let's put a marauder on all sides, so we have this thing shoot in all directions, because, man, that's what it's designed for. I remember the first time I tr tried to make an ABS battleship, it was so much worse than this. So that's the thing. If you're surrounded, it's hard to miss. Yay! And it's actually pretty uh, decent uh, firing arcs on all the guns, really, so they don't shoot each other. That, at the very least, is probably the time-consuming part of this whole thing. Actually, maybe, uh, let's check the screenshots. No, I don't see any radars or anything like that. So yeah, this is this is fun. This is fun, and it can beat up marauders, and that's nice. And anyway, this thing uh, is definitely 
wonderful in the sense that it's reminding me that multi holdcraft is a thing, and I should definitely uh, build more of those because I have built some of my own, or at least one, and actually I've built two. Man, that was a wacky live stream when the second one got made. But yeah, let's actually have a look at the APS Tetris in here while we're here, while we're mucking around. Looking at it. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's empty space in here. Oh my word. Oh, the APS purists. Oh, they'd be frothing at the mouth right now. <laughs> oh boy. I actually do like how these turrets look. They're just kind of like squat deck guns. And RPM is 12. It's just, I like it. I like this thing's style. Like, of course you could improve it a lot, but then again you could say that about literally anything that's made in this game. It's just a, it's just a thing. There is actually something to be said about, um, just having empty space be your armor, because that works on a surprising amount of things. It works on missiles, it works on explosives, so yeah, it's like, it's not necessarily bad, it's just not optimal for something this big. So yeah, thank you Safuja for making this, like, you, like, I bet you weren't expecting to see this being celebrated on the internet, were you? But I mean, you put it on the internet, so hopefully there was at least partial expectation of this. So yeah, everyone, um, everyone subscribe to this on the workshop, let Safuja know uh, how much you... I uh, love this thing. Paint job is actually weirdly endearing as well. I would never paint something like this, but looking at this makes me think, yeah, happy. But anyway, anyone, everyone's uh, subscribe and play with the Battleship Vulcan. And, you know, just, you know, give constructive feedback, be nice, welcome people to the community. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. Thank you again, Savuja, for chucking this up on the workshop. It made me happy. Uh, times three canoes levels of happy. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Weird and wonderful. Farewell.